Hello everyone, welcome back. It is Math Monday. So we have another bar modeling problem for you. I love bar modeling, I love work problems. So I wanna show you how to do this. Let's read it together. Evelyn has nine fewer stickers than Johanna. Together they have 35 stickers. Find the number of stickers Evelyn has. So what you always wanna do is write down the names of who's in the problem. And in the first sentence, it tells us Evelyn and Johanna's name. And so we will draw them two equal bars to start. Now this one says Evelyn has nine fewer stickers than Johanna. That also means that Johanna has nine more stickers than Evelyn. So you just wanna make sure that your bars represent what it says. So let's see, does this represent what the first sentence says? Evelyn has nine fewer stickers than Johanna. And yes, that's what it represents. Now together, they have 35 stickers. That's our total. So we will put that over here. Next, we need to find the number of stickers Evelyn has. So to do that, we're gonna have to get rid of this nine put it over here. So we're going to have to subtract the 35 minus the 9. So of course we would encourage you to do this in your head. Now if you don't know what 35 minus 9 is, remember you can always break this 9 down into 5 and 4. So 35 minus 5 gives you 30, minus another 4 would give you 26. 35 minus 9 is 26. So now we have 26 here and we have two equal bars. So now we can see what the bars represent. 26, we can divide it by our two bars to get it. Or for our younger viewers, what are two equal numbers that will give us 26, right? 13 plus 13 would give you 26. 26 divided by 2 gives us 13. So we know now that each of these bars, or both of these bars, are 13 and 13. So to solve the problem, let's put it back like we originally had it. Anna has 9 more than Evelyn, or Evelyn has 9 fewer. And that lets us know that Evelyn has 13 stickers, and we know Johanna has so thanks so much for watching me. I'm so glad you joined me. I do, I want to leave you with some motivation, just in case you're, you don't like math or you just need some motivation. So repeat after me. I am brilliant, I am confident, and I can solve any math problem that comes my way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next Math Monday.